So at this point, you should be watching this video if you have completed your assignment. This is the answers and how we come up with those. So for letter A, number one, we talked at the end of the lesson video what it meant to have expanded form, and I showed you an example. So if we have 23 to the seventh, we need to multiply 23 times itself seven times. It does not mean 23 times seven. In number two, we're going to multiply three times itself. The exponent tells us to do that eight times. In number three, we're gonna multiply five times itself. The exponent tells us to do that nine times. In number four, we're gonna multiply 18 times itself. The exponent tells us to do that six times. So that is what is meant by expanded form. Do you know what that exponent actually means without punching it in your calculator just to get an answer? In part B, we wanted to take that expanded form and rewrite it with exponents. So in question one, my base is going to be four because that's the number I'm multiplying, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, so the exponent will be seven. In number two, the number I'm multiplying together is 22, and I do that one, two, three, four, five, six times, so my exponent is a six. In number three, my base will be nine, and I do that one, two, three, four times. In number four, my base is going to be 17, and I multiply that one, two, three, four, five times. So when you want exponent form, you're going to take all those numbers that are being multiplied and write them instead using a base and an exponent. Now the bottom piece, that standard form piece, is just kind of a, a calculator check, if you will. It's just a calculator check. So um, I can't show my calculator on the screen, unfortunately. So if you're having issues getting the exponents on your calculator, if you want to email me, you can, and I'll try to explain to you how that would work on your calculator. Or you could join me live for class, or you can join me on Fridays from 10 to noon via Zoom. So we have 2 to the 10th power is 1,024. 11 to the third power is 1,331. <clears throat> 4 to the fourth power is 256. 13 to the second power is 169. 5 to the fourth power is 625. 9 to the third power is 729. 8 to the third power is 512. 15 to the second power is 225. Nine, one, 1 to the ninth power is 1. 6 to the fourth power is 1,296. So please make sure you've checked through yours. Take a picture of your completed assignment and then upload that picture to its learning using the green answer assignment button when you click on the 1.2 simplifying expressions assignment. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, join me live for class, or join me on Friday from 10 to noon using that Microsoft Teams link. Sorry, I said Zoom earlier, Microsoft Teams link.